Hey everybody, Gage here from Sharp. Today we're talking about what a Santoku is. So the word Santoku translates to three virtues, and while there is some debate about exactly what this means, it is generally accepted that this is in reference to either slicing, dicing, and chopping, or meat, fish, and vegetables. Again, this will depend on who you ask. Basically, the name tries to imply the versatility of the knife, which is what has made it the most popular knife in Japanese home kitchens today. It's slightly shorter than the Gyuto or the Japanese equivalent to a chef's knife, which can feel a little bit too long and cumbersome for the average home cook. It is adept at many tasks and is generally used in a rocking motion or an up and down push and or pull chopping motion, but this of course will depend on the exact knife that you choose as each blacksmith's version will be slightly different. The flatter profiles lending themselves better to that up and down push and or pull chopping motion, while those with a more curvy profile lending themselves uh, better to that rocking motion. This is the shape that we most highly recommend to home cooks that come into our shop, as we find that the slightly shorter blade length uh, feels much more comfortable and less intimidating to the average home cook, uh, while still remaining very versatile and capable of many tasks. The shape originated in post-war Japan in the late 1940s, early 1950s, as the Japanese population began moving away from rural environments into tighter, cramped, uh, more urban environments. Space was and is still very limited in Japanese cities, and the need for a do-it-all, uh, super versatile knife was very high, and thus the Santoku shape was born. It takes design elements from the Gyuto, um, from which it borrows the pointy tip and slightly curved profile, and from the Nakiri, from which it takes the tall blade profile, which gives you lots of clearance for your knuckles while using an up and down chopping motion. It's the knife that I use as my primary go-to knife while cooking professionally, and I liked it because I found it performed very well at more intricate tasks, uh, for instance, brunoise shallot and garlic, uh, which I was doing a lot of. Now the Santoku does have its limits, um, and while it can break down fish or poultry or perform other butchery tasks, uh, it isn't particularly adept at any of those tasks. And when you come across larger ingredients, for instance squash or watermelon, it can feel a little bit inadequate. Overall though, the Santoku is a fantastic starting point for anyone just getting into Japanese knives, and will serve you well as your do-it-all go-to knife. So if you uh, learned something today, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn the bell notification on for more knife and cooking related content. And until the next video, stay sharp.